You know, one of the biggest worries a lot of veterans have is the possibility of their VA disability rating being reduced. I get it. Those benefits are important, and the idea of losing them can be stressful. So today I wanna to break down how VA rating reductions work, when they can happen, and what you can do to protect yourself. First off, let's talk about what a rating reduction actually is. The VA gives you a disability rating based on how severe your service-connected conditions are. That rating determines how much compensation you get every month. But if the VA thinks your condition has improved over time, they might propose lowering your rating, which could mean less money in your pocket. Now here's the important part. The VA can't just decide to reduce your rating out of nowhere. They need to have solid evidence that your condition has shown sustained improvement. That means they have to look at your medical records, employment history, and how your condition affects your daily life. So it's not an overnight thing, but it can still happen if you're not prepared. There are actually some protections in place to help prevent unfair reductions. Let's go through them. First, there's the five-year rule. If your rating has been in place for at least five years, the VA considers it stabilized. That means they can't reduce it unless they have strong evidence that your condition has genuinely improved over time. Not just that you had a good day at a doctor's appointment. Then there's the 10-year rule. Once you've had a rating for 10 years, the VA can't take it away completely unless they can prove fraud. They can still lower it if they think your condition has improved, but your rating can't just disappear. And finally, there's the 20-year rule. If your rating has been in place for 20 years or more, the VA can't reduce it below the lowest rating you've had during that time, no matter what. Again, fraud is the only exception to this rule. So how do you avoid a reduction in the first place? There are a few simple things you can do to protect yourself. First, always attend your VA medical exams. If you miss one, the VA might assume your condition isn't severe anymore because they don't have updated information. That's an easy way to get flagged for a reduction, so don't skip those appointments. Second, keep your medical records up to date. Make sure you're regularly seeing your doctor and that your symptoms and treatments are fully documented. This gives you solid evidence to show the VA if they ever question the severity of your condition. Third, if your condition actually gets worse, let the VA know right away. You don't have to wait for them to reassess you. If things are getting harder for you, file for an increase in your rating. And lastly, if you ever feel overwhelmed by this process, don't go it alone. Reach out to a veteran service officer, VSO, or a legal advocate who knows the system. They can help you navigate all of this and make sure you're doing everything right. Now, what if you get that dreaded letter saying the VA is proposing a reduction? Don't panic. They're required to notify you and give you 60 days to respond. Use that time to gather any new medical evidence you can, or even request a hearing to make your case. You're not out of options just because they sent you a letter. So the big takeaway here is to stay proactive. Keep your records in order, don't miss appointments, and don't be afraid to speak up if something changes. These benefits are yours because you earned them. Don't let a reduction catch you off guard. If this helped you, Hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if there's another topic you want me to cover. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Take care.